Let's make a blackened salmon Caesar salad. Yes, I do make salad. The first thing I'm gonna do is make my homemade dressing. Yes, I said homemade. Now, I could have done this in a food processor, but I could not find all my parts to my food processor, so we are doing it this way. Chop up some garlic, then add some anchovies to that with a little bit of oil on there. Chop it up real good, add a little bit of salt, and mince it and chop it until it's like a paste just like this. Again, if you have a food processor, go ahead and just use that. It will save you about good 15, 20 minutes. Then add in two egg yolks, the juice of one whole lime, and one heaping tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Go ahead and mix it up really, really well till it's well combined. And then comes the hard part, mixing in the extra virgin olive oil. Again, if you don't have a food processor, you're going to do this part until your arm hurt, which is about a good 10 minutes. But you just slowly drizzle in olive oil. You are missing continuously the whole time until it comes to a, like a nice, soft, creamy texture just like this. Mix a few more minutes. Add anything if you need to. A little bit of salt probably. And then go ahead and add in your Parmesan cheese. Yes, Parmesan cheese. Do you measure Parmesan cheese? Absolutely not. Pour with your heart. Then go ahead and mix that up one good more time. And let's start on our croutons. Yes, I even made some homemade croutons, y'all. I got whatever kind of French bread they got me from Instacart and I cut it up into nice bite-sized pieces. And it ain't me if I don't make a mess in the kitchen by absolutely doing nothing. Yes, I'm that clumsy. Once the bread was the size I needed it to be, I went ahead and added it to a sheet pan and added a little bit of olive oil, some Parmesan cheese, and some of my yes that much garlic butter and herb seasoning. In the oven, 425 to get nice and crunchy. Now I know they sell romaine hearts. I don't like it. I'm buying a whole thing of romaine lettuce. Take off any ugly pieces. Then cut it out the middle both ways first. I don't like big old chunks. And then cut them into like nice bite-sized pieces. Because who want a bulky salad? Not me. Wash it off real good at least three times. And you see that water? That's why. Keep washing. You do not want that whole cast of a bug's life in your salad. And if your lettuce feel a little bit of limp, add a little bit of ice to it. Let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. While that's set, I worked on my salmon. Well, I got a little bit of avocado oil. Use some city Cajun seasoning for one-stop chop. And some of my garlic butter and herb seasoning. If it ain't that season... Add some more. Avocado oil to my head's clad pan. When it get nice and hot like me, drop that salmon in. And yes, this is how black I need it to be. Put it in the oven, let it finish in the oven for about 10 minutes. My salad is no longer limp like, oop, I'm gonna go ahead and wrench it off. Yes, I said wrench it off. And now it's time to toss my salad. Yeah, I'm gonna toss my salad with a little bit of that Caesar just that I made earlier that y'all better make because I sat here and I did it myself. So y'all better do it yourself too and not buy the bottle. Sorry for the rant, but I was a little passionate about that. Add some croutons into that, toss it one good more time, and now it's time to plate them up, and you got boom. Black and salmon Caesar salad. Yes, it's healthy. And yes, I don't pronounce healthy wrong, but that's how my son said, and it's cute. This is my hair damn healthy video. Now make this and leave me alone, because next week we're making some cake. Oh, you want this? Nope. All right, bye.